Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on writing equations. And our first example has us translating sentences into equations. So in example 1a, a number b divided by 3 is 6 less than c. Well, is is a key word for equals in our sentences to equations. So let's tackle the left side first. A number b divided by 3 can be written like this. Is, is our equals 6 less than c. Well, just as a side note, to make sure we get the subtraction in the right order, what is 6 less than, let's say, 10? What number is 6 less than 10? Well, if you're thinking to yourself, 4, that would be correct. How do we do that? Well, 10 minus 6 equals 4. Now, to get this into our equation, we're going to take out this 10 and put a C, because we want 6 less than C, which means we're going to take out this 10 and put it with the C. So it's going to be, as you can see, C minus 6. I still think that getting subtraction in the correct order might be the most difficult part of these. So if you put in a number such as 10 for C and just think through it, you're more likely to get the correct answer. What about example 1b? 15 more than z times 6 is 11 less than y times 2. Well, let's think about the left side. 15 more than z times 6. Okay, 15 plus 6z. Now, if you wrote z6, it's okay, but typically what you'll see in algebra is this coefficient, this number to the left of the variable. Then equals, is our is, 11 less than y times 2. Well, it's a lot like our 6 less than c, 11 less than y times 2. We're going to have our 2y first minus 11. And that's the equation. In example 2, we're going to set up an equation to solve a real-world problem. A jelly bean manufacturer produces 1,250,000 jelly beans per hour. Yikes. How many hours does it take to produce 10 million jelly beans? Well, if we set up an equation, we're looking to find 10 million jelly beans. Now, we're going to set that equal to the 1,250,000 they can produce per hour. And if we solve this equation, we'll find out how many hours it takes to make 10 million jelly beans. So if we divide by 1,250,000 on both sides, cancels out on the right side, and h is going to equal 8. So 8 hours is our solution to this question. Take some pretty much a full shift to get 10 million jelly beans. In example 3, we're going to write a formula by translating a sentence. Translate the sentence into a formula. The perimeter of a square equals 4 times the length of a side. All right, well, perimeter can be P equals 4 times the length of a side. Well, 4 times, and for the length of a side, we can say S. So P equals 4 times S. Moving on. Example 4 shows how to translate equations into verbal sentences. So translate each equation into a sentence. We have 12 minus 2x equals negative 5. Well, let's just write that. 12 
minus, to cover the subtraction, we'll then write 2 times x, so that way we can cover the operation taking place here of multiplication. We don't want to just write 2x, we want to use a word for the multiplication, so times. That covers the left side. Now we could say is or equals here. We'll write equals this time. Negative 5. So we have 12 minus 2 times x equals negative 5. What about the next one? a squared plus 3b equals c over 6. Well, how about a squared and then we can just say plus 3 times b Again, make sure we're using an operation there. And then we could also say is equal to, and then c over 6 is division, so we can say c divided by 6. So again, we have our a squared plus 3 times b, is equal to c divided by 6. In our last example, example 5, it shows how to write a verbal problem from information given in equations. So write a problem based on the given information. f equals the cost of fries. f plus $1.50 equals the cost of a burger. So fries plus $1.50 is the cost of a burger. Then we have this. 4 times f plus 150, which is the cost of the burger, so it would be like 4 burgers, minus the cost of the fries, is equal to $8.25. We're looking to actually write a question, to write a problem. That's our solution, is a problem. So let's say what we know so far. We can start with that. The cost of a burger is $1.50 more than the cost of fries. True story. And we get that from right there. Next, four times Now again, I'm going to say the cost of a burger because it's 4 times this F plus 150. And now it's the cost of a burger. So I can say 4 times the cost of a burger minus the F is the cost of fries. equals $8.25. And we get that information from here. And now we have to ask the question. Well, what could be something we're trying to find? How about the cost of fries? How much do fries cost? And for this example, I'm not asking you to actually solve for the cost of fries, just to write the problem. And that's it for this lesson on writing equations, our start of chapter two. Good luck.